Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the off-grid chicken coop build. Check it out. Oh, it's sunny. No more blizzard. And hopefully today we are going to finish up this chicken coop because tomorrow we're getting the chickens. So they need a place to live. I was telling you guys that we were going to get these basically one at the top and then one down towards the bottom. And that way the door will be really secure and no critters can like pry it open and try to get in there. Probably measure that twice. It's home, it's <laughs> Always safe. The more I think of all the <laughs> the more it makes me smile. Now we're gonna rip it in half, right? No, we're gonna make sure it fits. Though. Oh, yeah, make sure it fits. That's always good. It's too long. I gotta cut a little bit off. Fit. All right, so this is going to be um, a ledge, right? But actually, we're gonna we're gonna rip this two by four in half. Half of it's gonna go down here, and half of it's gonna go up here. And then we're gonna cut notches in here so that we can slip the dividers in, and it'll be held up here in a notch, held down here in a notch. And then it'll come out, and we can staple it to the back side of the the wall here to hold it in place. That's the plan. That's what we're going to try right now. Four. Whoa. All right. Four. Let's pull a look at Tux. <laughs> he likes to sleep in the sunshine. Right now we're working on the nesting box dividers. I think we've got our dividers cut and ready to put in place. Let's go find out. We go in like that? Oh yeah, dude. That'd be good. Beautiful. Awesome. That's gonna be happy little hens. What do you think? Yeah, that's great. Cool, huh? Yeah, and then we've got the top there to yeah. sandwich them in. So let's go ahead and we'll screw the top in. Okay. And uh, then we'll be ready to rock and roll. <laughs> you look funny. <laughs> Try not to get it up on the walls. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it on the walls, just, just on the floor. And don't let it run down the sides. Don't let it run down. Don't get it on here, run down there. Just, just on the floor, okay? Seth is gonna hop up into the coop <laughs> so he can paint the floor. Thanks, Seth. It's the same paint that's on our floor. These are fancy chickens. I'm gonna film you starting. Okay. We're painting it. What is it called? Pyramid, I think, is the color. <laughs> when people said look like baby poop. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Seth. <laughs> Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. 
<laughs> it's like a farm dog <laughs> chewing on straw. Functionally speaking, we're doing the last part to the chicken coop right now, putting up these final sidings here, and then it'll be usable. We still gotta put the little ramp down in front, but I don't really count that as part of the chicken coop. <laughs> yeah, we got the roosting bars in, one, two, three, and then there's actually one up higher here. And we've also, huh? Okay, and then we've also mounted the uh, feeder here. Okay, now to go put up the setting. <laughs> okay. Marty's putting the finishing screws in on this side. Go on. Yeah, wow. Looks amazing. Check out the inside. <laughs> wow. It's a chicken shack. It's a chicken shack. We're building the gang plank for the chicken, for the chicken house. So right here, we've got a scrap piece of two by 12 that we just pulled out of our scrap pile. And also some scrap um, one by four that we're using. We just ripped it down to uh, basically one by two. And then we're gonna use these for cleats. They're gonna go across this like this going up. All right, chicken gangplank is done. Got a couple extra cleats, but it's all right. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh man. Yeah. He'll be able to cruise right up there. <laughs> Hopefully anyway, huh? Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Cool. Dude, that looks amazing. <laughs> think they'll like it? Yeah. Hopefully they'll use it. <laughs> 150 feet of 48 inch chicken wire. Put it around the trees. Give them a little bit of safety. <laughs> Like everything guys, projects take much longer than I anticipate, but we've finally gotten it ready. We got the chicken wire up. It goes over there, around back to the chicken coop. And then uh, let me just give you a quick tour. I will give you a full complete tour uh, in a future video of the chicken coop, kind of showing you in detail some of the things like how we made it, how it's framed and stuff like that. But briefly here the inside right chicken bar or the laying boxes right here we've got the um feeder right here on a string so that it can be raised if we need to or lowered if it needs to be lowered roost up here thermometer in the back just for our own personal curiosity right it's about uh, 45 degrees in there right now which is strange because it's freezing cold out here so it's warmer in there for some reason chicken door open we got this right here. You just pull it down and hook it on here and it holds the door open. And then put it up like that and the door is closed. Oh, what about the roof, huh? This looks cool. And I'll tell you why we designed it this way in a future video and go through all kind of the details on why we built it the way we did, right? There's a lot of planning that went into this and why we did it this way, we have our reasons. If you wanna see more about what's going on here on our homestead, there is a video right over there that you'd probably like to check out. Otherwise, hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.